welcome to my channel. My name is Amy. I'm glad we spread time. I'm a mother of two and daily I commit myself to upload at least two videos on issues of parenting and motherhood. Just sharing from my experience, the challenges, expectations, and some of the solutions are found to the problems that exist in this journey of being a good parent. So all of us dressing up this journey, we call ourselves super dads and super moms. So welcome. If you're new, please consider subscribing to this channel. Like, share, and give your comments because there's a lot for all of us to learn. In this episode, I'll be talking about uh, bonding, bonding with your child, with your baby who is zero months and three months and one year, and with your adult kids, children who are, let's say, teenagers. Teenagers is the right description, or young adults, because all of us, you want to be bonded to your child, although for the purposes of this channel, I'll be concentrating to those who are zero to two years of age, because that stage of life determines almost everything. And as a parent, you're thinking, like right now, people are going back to work, it's, it's New Year, people are resuming work, or people are, uh, or you are going, it's maternity leave is over and you're going back to work and you're thinking, oh, my child is born, it's about yes, or oh, my child is young, oh, my child, will I get the time? As you realize, time is a big challenge. Life challenges. Uh, time is a big life challenge to the activities of bonding. And you're thinking, my child will bond with somebody else. Or you're thinking, oh, I just don't have time for the child. Or issues like that. Don't stress, Super Mama Amy has a list of activities which you could purpose to do in the little time you get that would increase bonding with your child. And I'll mention them quickly. So number one for uh, see, this are a list, a quick list of things you could do to increase bonding with your child, your little one. Number one thing would be breastfeeding. Definitely breastfeeding. You know I'm a breastfeeding advocate. <laughs> I must say breastfeeding. Breastfeeding. Breastfeeding gives you time to to look into your child's eye, to just share this this sacred moment and also it's important because of the skin to skin contact do you breastfeed your child without <laughs> without cloth but it gives chance when your skin even the skin that touches your baby's cheek skin to skin contact is important because your child gets to smell mama to hear mama's heartbeat and it's a very special time so breastfeeding is one way in which you would bond with your child better. If you are in your busy schedule, please consider to breastfeed every time you get a chance. It increases bonding, okay? Another thing that increases bonding is play. Play with your child. Sing for your child. Like I say often, don't bore your child. Sing, play, engage your child. Be creative about singing for your child, by the way. All this excites the child, and in terms, it is printed in the child's mind that this is a friendly person, this is a warm person. Ah, I would love to attach myself to this person. Yes, play with your child, sing for your child. Another activity which I'll be talking about in a different video, though, is massage. You've heard about massage? In Africa, massage is different, too. Yeah, hey, you think people are fighting. Hey, the massage. You think people are fighting. But massage is a really good time for parent and baby to bond. If you, like, uh, as you massage your child, I'll encourage you to talk to them. Don't just be, let's get done with this one very fast. So massage your child. It increases bonding. Bedtime stories, and of course, I've also said uh, playing. But another thing which I would like to, to, to emphasize again is strolling. Take your child out to, take your child out yourself. It also increases the moments of bonding together with your, uh, bonding with your child. And something which I also emphasize here for working class moms who have help, helps around, yes, helps around, yeah. 
try to commit yourself to do some service to your child. For lack of a better word, let's call it service. Like doing these things yourself. When baby poops, you clean them up yourself. Washing your baby, cleaning baby yourself, like uh, bathing them yourself. Sometimes feeding your child yourself. These are all activities that will tell baby this is a friendly person. This is a person that attends to me when I'm when I need help because when baby poops they become uncomfortable. This is my friend. Service, do the service yourself to your child. It will increase bonding with this child. So right on to it. Secret. Before secret, let me just mention quickly, bonding with older children, young adults can be a little tricky, dear parent, especially if you have had an estranged relationship. But uh, my one, two, two cents to it is that you be the bigger person, make the step, take the step, take the step to call them from a point of, of love, not from a point of finding out what, where they are, what they, some some of these young adults don't like you following them around, following them, disturbing them. Some of these young adults don't like it. So you might just make the point of calling them if they are the type that have already left your house, calling them all the time. You could say, I want to be intentional about calling my child this year. I will call my child every two days just because they will not call you if you are the, if they are looking at you as the enemy. <laughs> Young adults, you're looking at your parents as enemies. No, it's a struggle with them. They want to be your friend. Who share with me in the comment section what you think about that statement? So maybe pa participating in things which are of value to them. Your child just decided they want to be a musician and they're going to the studio to sing. You could take them with as they go, you could go with them or just show up in their concert and show support. These are things that will be will tell this young adult that you are their friend. You are for them, not against them. And they will want to be closer to you. Show up in their special events. Show up in their, in their for example, ball games. Show up in their special events. These are things that will tell your child you are for them. Okay? That was for the adults. So right on to it, the secret of ensuring you bond with your child from my little experience is one, commitment. You have to commit. These things I'm talking about, playing, singing, strolling, doing service to your child, you commit to them because there is definitely no time. Commit yourself to 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 bonding with your child. I want to do this for my child. So commitment. Of course. Of course it's not easy. You just have to commit. Another thing with the little children is always keep eye contact. Eye contact is important. When you look into your child's eyeballs, you learn a lot of things. They will smile as they nyonyo. As you look at them, make faces, things like that. Be fun to have around eye contact and then of course touch skin to skin it's it's very good for bonding when your skin touches when your hand touches it kind of assures them gives an aura of peace this is a peaceful person that's why they say be careful with your children with who touches them with who shakes hands with who touches them how because somehow the skin contact gives a feeling of it is safe with this person don't allow anybody to touch your child though. anywhere, not to wash them, not to do anything because skin to skin contact kind of just gives an, uh, gives an, at the back of your mind, the mind just registers it is safe with this person. So the secret to bonding with someone, I've said commitment with your child, sorry, commitment, eye contact, skin, and finally parents, gentle talk, talk to your child. I've encouraged you to talk to your child. Talk to your child, it opens up their brain. Talk to your child, it tells, it makes them familiarize with your, with your voice so they will bond with your voice. They will be able to recognize you. Don't be quiet around your child. But also, as you talk to your child, remember to be gentle always, especially the young, the ones who are growing, the adults over two years of age. They're all children, but 
adults do not shout shouting puts them away you can always talk to your child they will understand regardless of the situation so those are my two cents on secrets of bonding with your child or active it has a list of activities to do to increase bonding with your child i hope this helps share like subscribe if this is the type of content you would enjoy there's a lot in the video go through the description in the channel go through the description box to find links to different other videos you can watch so see you in the next one thank you